Hello everyone, so in this video, we will gonna discuss uh, another topic which is the convection heat transfer. Okay, so um, before we proceed in this uh, detailed uh, discussion, have you ever heard the um, uh, one of the component maybe uh, of your car which is the what we call the radiator right and I think some of you heard this especially those who have uh, a car okay so this uh, engine cooling system uh, is an example where uh, there is a fluid there which is passed through over pass through or over a solid surface okay so say we have this uh, engine cylinder I mean the say this is your engine right. so, say this is the engine and this engine cylinder here is equipped with jackets so we have here some jackets Okay, this is your chocolates. Okay, all over this uh, engine cylinder, this is equipped with chocolates so that uh, uh, there is a, a circulating coolant uh, that goes around this uh, engine cylinder um, to cool the system. Okay, so there is a coolant, of course, to cool the system, and it uh, uses pump wherein it can uh, pick up the uh, heat in the cylinder and so when it pick up the heat here when pick up the heat here so your coolant now is uh, I mean became hot right so this um, uh, hot coolant here is being ejected in another component which is the what we call the radiator okay so say we have here your radiator okay. so from uh, from here the uh, coolant of uh, this engine uh, will deliver here in the what we call the uh, radiator or the component radiator so um, in radiator this hot coolant is being cooled so from a uh, hot coolant this is being cooled so from hot this is being cooled by uh, there is a uh, uh, by air passing over this the fins of this uh, radiator okay so the heat transfer associated with this uh, fluid motion and this uh, fins or the solid surface is referred to us uh, as an example of convection heat transfer okay so that is the uh, role of the uh, radiator in your maybe in your car or something like that okay once again your hot coolant where in this uh, coolant of course the role is to um, eliminate the excess heat from your engine so it carries uh, uh, heat and goes through this radiator radiator okay and then the role of radiator it has a fin and there is a um, uh, air going through this fin to uh, pick up the heat from the coolant so your uh, hot coolant now became uh, I mean it's being cooled so this uh, cold coolant now will go back to your engine to recirculate again and pick up heat 
from the engine okay so that is um, being cycled over and over again okay and the uh, main reason is just not to um, I mean to eliminate the excess heat excess heat from your engine okay so the hot coolant goes here and there is a heat transfer a convection heat transfer going on here in the radiator between uh, the uh, air and the fins then the um, cooled uh, coolant now once again goes back to the engine to cool the engine and goes on and on okay so that is a perfect example of the what we call the convection heat transfer okay so moving on so in this uh, video by the way we will gonna discuss of course uh, some introduction and um, the what we call the heat transfer coefficient right we've already discussed it last time but uh, we will discuss it again here in much detail and we will gonna also have the discussion regarding the um, non dimensional numbers numbers such as the uh, nasal number the uh, frontal number the uh, Reynolds number the Grassoff number uh, what else the uh, Rayleigh number yeah that's all so we are gonna tackle this uh, non-dimensional uh, numbers and we are gonna uh, discuss the importance of these numbers okay and aside from this we will also gonna uh, gonna have some um, some discussion regarding the boundary layer the what we call the concept of the boundary layer okay and uh, we have the yeah, external and internal flows Okay, so let us discuss it one by one. So for the um, so for the introduction, uh, last time I mean uh, we uh, discussed it the uh, convection heat transfer uh, using the radiator as an example, right? So um, the convection heat transfer is usually a phenomenon when heat is transferred usually although not necessarily no from a uh, solid surface to its adjac adjacent fluid which is in motion so here in our um, uh, example through the radiator we have these um, fins cooling fins this is a uh, solid uh, surface and we have the um, fluid which is in motion okay so you're moving air and so on that is uh, uh, going through or passing through these uh, fins okay so the fluid may be flowing uh, inside an enclosed uh, conduit uh, for example there is a case of uh, stream flowing through a pipe so or uh, the fluid may be over the uh, solid surface such as an air flowing over a heated plate and so on okay so although not necessarily once again um, the heat is being transferred usually from a solid surface to each uh, adjacent fluid okay okay so the we say that the um, the uh, the fluid is in motion so the motion of the fluid may be imposed by uh, some external uh, agencies like say there is a uh, a uh, fan or blower okay so in this case, uh, we refer this to as the uh, forced uh, forced convection. Okay. 
if we have some external agencies like this okay we're in if we have a uh, fluid motion if we have a fluid motion uh, I mean if the fluid motion is uh, self-excited uh, say uh, say by the uh, uh, buoyancy effect due to due to the temperature gradient of the surrounding then we term this as the free convection okay so we uh, do not use the external agencies like this fan and blower in order for us to have uh, a uh, flowing fluid i mean to have i mean to make the uh, fluid in motion okay okay in free convection um the uh, fluid motion is self-excited by uh, some buoyancy effect again due to temperature gradient of our surrounding okay okay so this free convection here is also known as natural natural convection okay so we there are uh, three things uh, in order for the convection heat transfer to happen three things in order for convection heat transfer to happen okay so we need to remember these three okay so first uh, the solid and the fluid must be in contact okay so to um, make this convection heat transfer I mean to uh, have this uh, heat transfer uh, I mean to occur this heat, uh, convection heat transfer your surface your solid surface and the fluid must be in contact with each other okay then there must be a relative motion between the two relative motion okay okay so there must be a motion okay like what we have an uh, example last time the air is moving or flowing these fins okay uh, so there must be a solid and fluid in contact and the um, the um, there is a motion between the two okay and usually the um, uh, usually uh, the motion is coming from the uh, fluid like for example the air that is being um, air flowing over a heated plate or uh, water flowing a uh, pipe and so on so there must be a relative motion between the two and of course always remember that in order for the heat transfer to happen there must be a driving force which is the temperature difference so there must be a temperature difference 